today we are going to talk again, a little bit, picking up from yesterday, about an attitude of gratitude in praising God in all circumstances. We want to move toward God with gratitude, and it's easy to do when things are going well. But how do you move toward God with an attitude of gratitude when you feel like you're at the bottom of a pit? We have a tendency to ignore or even blame God when things get difficult. We praise and we thank God for all the good things, but we carry a silent resentment or a comparison for the hard things. We ask questions like, again, God, are you kidding me? Why do these things always happen to me and not somebody else? But think about it. When was the last time you stop to give thanks and praise to God for a difficult circumstance or a difficult situation that you were experiencing. I think some of us refuse to thank God for these challenges because we're afraid if we thank God for them, he will allow more difficulty or, and we're more afraid that, that God will do that. And so we just thank God. Okay, God, I thank you for the lessons I learned and the experience, but God, I'm really not thankful for what I went through. But this kind of thinking, if we're like that, it's only going to get us wrapped up in our own pride. I think it's possible for us to move toward God with an attitude of gratitude, no matter what the circumstances are. And when we do this, we're going to receive all of the benefits of a grateful heart, and we're going to create a well-worn path to conversation with God. You can have a conversation with God, like, God, I don't understand why I went through that. God, will you, will you help me to understand that? I'm thankful for it because I know there was a lesson to be learned in it. But God, I, I need your help as, we, as I move forward. You know, it's okay to have conversation with God. When we read Ezra chapter 3, we find where the Israelites are rebuilding the temple. We find a place where the people are excited about the new temple. They are rejoicing with the bricklayers. They are singing songs with the workers. But at the same time, there were older people who were weeping because they didn't feel that this temple was as nice as the older temple. When you read this chapter, you've got to ask yourself the question, why were some people shouting for joy and some people weeping? Have you ever been in a place or an experience or you know, some people were happy while other people were sad. How did these experiences affect your focus on God? In 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Why do you think the author of this passage says, it is God's will for the people to give thanks in all circumstances. In the good, the bad, we're always supposed to give God thanks. We must understand that God sees the bigger picture. He knows the ending and he knows the beginning. And if you want to claim gratitude as a practice of prayer, as you focus on God, then you need to name the hard parts in life too. You need to give thanks for the hard things in life. I know this may not make you feel so good, but please don't skip this exercise. You need to do it. God welcomes and he loves all of you. He loves your gratitude. He loves your anger. Hello? He loves your anger, your fear, your disappointment, your questions and your doubts. He loves it. Why? Because you're taking it to him. And with him, he can show his love for you in the midst of those situations and those circumstances. Take an honest and, and an honest look at the challenging circumstances and the situations, making it hard for you to express gratitude in your difficult times. Write it out to God, and you will see where hard circumstances may come. But later you're going to go back and you're going to look and you're going to realize how they were meant for your good. Write it down. Have an attitude of gratitude for the difficult things in your life. 
This has been the Downtown Church Daily Devotion for the month of January. God bless you and have a great day.